And I'm going to talk about self-correcting run oracles and these uh, cryptographic applications. This joint work with Alex Russell, Moti Yang, and uh, Hong Shen Zhou. Actually, we are now in a crypto crisis. Not only we need to worry about quantum computers, we also need to worry about big brothers. And the concept of cryptography was invented 20 years ago that has not been taken so seriously. Suddenly, this gentleman tells the world cryptography can actually be true. And uh, in the Snowden revelation, actually, he demonstrated a real-world example that a subverted implementation can actually generate a subliminal channel to break the security of the underlying crypto primitive, even if the underlying crypto, crypto primitive is provably secure. So after the Snowden revelation, our uh, community started to react, and uh, several lines of very interesting works significantly advanced the uh, status of ours for defending mechanisms. The first line, starting with uh, BPR14, they suggest let's focus on the deterministic algorithm because the biased randomness used the malicious implementation. And also another line of interesting work suggesting a model that assumes trusted re-randomizer in the reverse firewall uh, model so that they can achieve interesting feasibility results. Yet we want more. We want more crypto functionalities, crypto properties, and with less trust. So we also start developing another line of work we call cryptography which means clipping the power of cryptographic attacks. So in this model, we insist that every functional component can be subverted by the adversary. So last year in Asia Crypt, we, we show how to mitigate such subliminal channel using, by formalizing not, the nothing on my sleeve, conventional wisdom for PRG and the digital signature. And for semantic security, we propose a general tool to destroy subliminal channel by using a fine-grained modular design principle, which will be presented in the coming CCS. So this leads us to a natural next question. Can we actually generally correct adversarial random sources or random oracles? So in this work, we start exploring how to self-correct random oracles. What do we mean by this? We start with our hash specification, for example, uh, SHI-256 which can be modeled as a run oracle, then a malicious implementation will disagree with the specification for a negligible fraction of inputs. Now next, we want to correct the back. So the, the goal, uh, the target will still be usable as a run oracle. The point here is that we only want to use a fixed number of public randomness. So the model in a bit more detail that a run oracle is drawn, then a malicious implementation will be generated and supplied to the challenger. So here, the malicious implementation only disagrees with a negligible fraction of inputs. Then the challenger, the good guy, going to wrap around the bad implementation using only public randomness, then reveal the public randomness. Then the adversary can do the regular query and try to distinguish. The high-level idea is that as long as um, the adversary has not explicitly learned a value of the certain input, it will still look uniform to the adversary, even conditioned on all the previous transcript. So this brings us uh, close attention to a seminal work of, seminal work of self-correcting programs, which due to Bloom, Ruby, and Rubinfield back to the 90s, that in their setting, there's a specification, and then a, malicious, a buggy implementation might be wrong at a negligible fraction of inputs. Then they want to correct the whole program to be correct at every point with overwhelming probability. Essentially, our problem can be viewed as a distribution of uh, version of the self-correcting program, but using only public randomness. So I give a quite intuitive construction, but the special care is needed that if the, we dis disperse the point to a, su a large subset of independent points, if the number is not big enough, we can actually show an explicit attack. The analysis is actually quite involved. It's not something you want to hear now in the RAM session, but uh, it's due to the two facts that the the malicious implementation actually can adaptively query run oracles, so it makes the condition very hard. On, on the other hand, the malicious imp implementation can do rejection sampling, so that trying to bias the final distribution. And with the strong machinery at hand, we can show a bunch of interesting applications to defend against the big brother. And uh, as a summary, the cryptography in the post-Snowden era is important and challenging. We call for a community-wise effort um, an interesting next step might be join us at the coming CCS for a three-hour tutorial. Thanks.